Hey, it's Dana. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week here on YouTube. And this series is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So this video topic was requested on my TikTok and she asked um, how to deal with people that ghost you and then they come back and then they ghost you and then they come back. So in my opinion, this type of dynamic is toxic as fuck and nobody should have to deal with people just disappearing and then trying to come back and act like nothing happened. That's just like the amount of trauma and abandonment issues and like oh uncertainty like there's just so many wounds and emotions that that can create and so much trauma that that can create and as somebody that's been in an abusive relationship myself like oh okay <laughs> first of all we're creating trauma here so if you are in this type of dynamic please know that you are creating trauma for yourself and I know that sounds really harsh but like we <sighs> Okay, how do I word this without coming across as crazy? <laughs> so, whatever situation we get ourselves in when it comes to relationships, we are choosing it. Okay, first of all, and I know it's hard sometimes to take accountability. Like, when I was in an abusive relationship, it was really hard to take my own accountability for even entertaining this person, you know? So, like, it's our responsibility at the end of the day to put our own selves in environments that benefit us, you know, and I'm not talking about um, normal situations. I know that there are situations people do not choose, of course, but what I'm talking about in relationships is we have a choice over who we're with when it comes to romantic relationships, you know, especially at the beginning, okay, so if somebody is ghosting you and then coming back and ghosting you and coming back, why, why would you entertain it? And I know that's very like easy to say when you're not in it. But I was in an abusive relationship and looking back now, I am like, why the fuck would you even choose a person like that? Like before any of the abuse even started, why would you go near somebody like that, you know? So when it comes to ghosting or whatever the situation could be, it relates to everything. Like if somebody is not meeting your needs, if they are not meeting your standard, if they are not respecting you, if they're not appreciating you if they're not even being kind to you because let's face it ghosting is not kind it creates a lot of trauma it creates a lot of abandonment issues and a lot of sadness and it's just so many wounds that you're then going to have to work through so if somebody is doing this to you why would you then entertain them afterwards you know like because they clearly don't appreciate you. They clearly don't value you. Otherwise, they wouldn't just disappear and not speak to you and not give you an explanation and then just pop up and be like, hey, and act like nothing happened, you know. And even if they pop back up and they do apologise and stuff, if they keep doing it, then they're not sorry at all. <laughs> because they keep doing it. If they were sorry, they wouldn't keep doing it. So... All I can really say, and I know it's uh, like sometimes when you give advice, people will not listen. So I know that it's hard to hear and you may not listen and you may not um, make any changes based on what I'm saying. But I'm going to say it anyway, because somebody asked me to talk about it. So this is my honest opinion. Everyone in life deserves everything like they deserve unconditional love you deserve unconditional love you deserve somebody to respect you somebody to value you you deserve somebody that is interested in things that you are like you deserve somebody that you vibe with that you get on with somebody that appreciates you and is going to dedicate time to you you deserve somebody that's going to reply to your messages for god's sake like you deserve somebody that actually is present and not just present because they want something in return but is present because they care and because they want to be and because they want to see you smile you know like you deserve the best of the best and if somebody is ghosting you that is on them like they clearly have some kind of emotional issue in themselves that they need to work on to where they can't commit or they they run away like 
a running away kind of thing is obviously their own kind of trauma like that's a survival mechanism that's a trauma-based response but that doesn't mean that you have to tolerate it you know like I'm kind of tired of people feeling like they need to raise other people like we're not here to raise people and this goes for men and women this is not just about women we are not here to raise people into loving us we're not here to raise people into treating us with respect they should already be doing that and if they're not then they can fuck off okay so if he keeps ghosting you or she keeps ghosting you then she's not the one for you right now in this moment and if she's meant to be the one for you or he's meant to be the one for you later on then something will unfold to where it will happen you know but where they're at right now is clearly not in alignment with you otherwise they wouldn't keep leaving so I would personally just say to let it go but I know that that's not always easy and sometimes like there's bigger circumstances there like maybe you're married and things like that so I know it's kind of difficult, but I just think we have to just be clear on what we want and what we need, you know, like, there's just so many people in this world, why are we settling for people that are not on the same wave or that disrespect us and treat us the way we don't want to be treated and the way that they wouldn't even want to be treated if you were doing it to them, you know, so I personally would just say, leave them be and focus on your self-esteem, focus on who you are and what you need and like literally write it down write down exactly what you want in a relationship because nothing is off limits like write it down get completely clear on what you want and what you need in a relationship and then when that person comes back to you you can be like this is what I need like these are my needs this is my boundary this is my standard either you're gonna meet them or you're not you know and obviously we're all gonna grow together we're gonna change our needs are gonna change like It's about growing together in the same direction. And if they just keep running away, then they're clearly not going in the same direction. They're actually pulling you backwards because they're taking themselves backwards, you know? So I just think it's a complete waste of time. And it's literally setting yourself up for heartache over, but not just once, it's over and over again because they keep going and coming back and going and coming back. So every time you try and heal yourself and come to terms with the fact that they've left, they then come back again. And then you're literally back in like square one of repeating the same cycle and the same healing process. And you're never evolving past that healing process because they keep dragging you backwards. So set yourself free. And I know it's difficult, but you can do it. Once you get clear on what you need and what you want, it becomes much easier to assert that and stop settling for less because what you want is out there and you can have it, but you have to believe in yourself and you have to love your goddamn self like you have to love yourself and realize that you deserve more than somebody that's ghosting you and it doesn't make them a bad person either they've clearly got some type of issue that they need to deal with and that's fine because we've all got issues and we've all got things that we're dealing with but when it hurts somebody else then it crosses a line and it can no longer be tolerated and they need to go and be by themselves and deal with that issue and then they can come back to you once they've deal dealt with it you know like they need to deal with it on their own and stop dragging you back and forth with them once they've dealt with it then if you're ready and they're ready then maybe you can reconnect and try again but they need to deal with that issue first okay so stop waiting for people to deal with their issues that they're not trying to deal with and stop feeling like only you can get them to deal with it or only you can help them to deal with it no 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 okay and I will make another video on this because we cannot parent people they're meant to be a partner you're not meant to be their parent, okay, we will save this topic for another video, otherwise I'm going to go on another long rant, but I will make that in another video, okay, because no more parenting people, so yes, let them just go heal themselves, you focus on healing yourself, and then if it's meant to be, it will be, but you just, you, (laughs) you deserve more, okay, So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any other topics and ideas that you want me to talk about, you can comment below, you can DM me, or my phone number is also in the description box as well. Everything about me is in the description box below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, because I do upload three times a week. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Think you like me, yeah I'm icy, cooling in the white tea Oh yeah, I think you might, I'm the thing you like in my range, all white Oh yeah, I think
think he might I'm not thinking like they're my angel white 